but we're going to talk about decorative buckets today. And if you've ever tried to paint a bucket, you'll realize that it's not an easy task because they're made out of high density polyethylene. And high density polyethylene does not like to have anything stick to it. So if you see the bucket here, we paint it. Um, didn't do any prep on this bucket, just took a bucket. This is an example. Took a bucket right from the store and then painted it with some uh, decent, decent quality spray paint. But the paint was not designed to stick to a bucket. Um, and as you can see, you can, scratch, you can scratch off the finish very easily. Um, so if you want to make a bucket decorative, uh, you can paint it any color that you can imagine. Any color you can get spray paint for, you can paint it. But there's a certain thing you want to do to make sure that the spray paint sticks to the bucket. So we're going to go over that right now. So let's start off with the basic bucket. So what you want to do to make the, the give it a, a chance for the, um, the surface to accept the paint is you have to use something to rough up the surface. This is a very smooth surface and again it's, it's polyethylene, high density polyethylene and it's very waxy. It doesn't like to take, take paint. So to help it out what you could do is take some steel wool or you could also use some very fine this is a thousand grit sandpaper and you can just sand it. But you want to make sure like right around these edges right here it's easy for the paint to get chipped off because things are going to bump into it and all. So you really want to kind of get that area roughed up. Another thing you could do is just use your steel wool. And what I like about steel wool is you can go around the corners and the contours of the bucket. And so you can just kind of go around like that and rough up the surface. But you want to just kind of go over and buff it. And, and if you can see, I, I can see it here, but I don't know if the camera picks it up. You can see the scratches, the micro scratches it's putting in, all, all kinds of swirl marks. And that's going to allow the paint to stick to it. Now, another thing that can help you is we've got different types of, um, of uh, paint and primer here. Um, Right here we have this um, this primer here that's a clear primer. It doesn't have to be white. Um, I would recommend white on one of these dark buckets. If you have a white bucket, um, you can um, use the clear. Um, it would just take a lot more paint. It doesn't matter really. Uh, these buckets are a little bit cheaper. Um, if you get the white buckets, they're gonna uh, they're gonna be easier to prime because you're just gonna put a clear primer on it. You won't see and the, it'll take the paint better. But if you're using a dark paint, you may want to start with a dark bucket. If you're using a lighter paint, like closer to a white, you may want to start with a white bucket. That way you have less um, coats to, in order to get the coverage you want. Um, there's also these paints here that says bonds to plastic. Now, that's a relative term. I mean, there's a lot of pla different types of plastic out there. Um, Polyethylene is probably one of the toughest ones to paint. So, um, with the combination of using a good primer, this plastic paint, if you if you get a paint, there's there's only limited colors in these, right? So if you want to go with a different color that may not have this um, sticks to plastic logo on it, you you may I would suggest just start off with one of these. Now um, there's also the white um, primer here, and try not to go cheap on this. You don't really need a lot of it. One of these cans will probably do. Uh, four buckets or so, maybe five buckets, um, and they make a very um, a light coat on there. You don't have to go crazy with this. So once you put a light coat on there, you give something for the paint to stick to. Then the second step is get your favorite color, and you can get these in all kinds of different colors. You can even um, mix your own paint and uh, spray it with a with a sprayer. So uh, the sky's the limit. You can even do texture paints. There's just all kinds of different neat options. Whatever. Uh, your mind can dream up. So what you want to do is take this once you get done and we'll go outside and we're going to show you how to actually coat it and we're going to do, put the primer on there and then we're going to put the, the paint on there and show you the finished results.